All right, folks. Chipper and Vermark here. Um, a lot of people have asked, has been asking me some questions on how you play Mons for the Doomsday. Um, and, uh, well, here's how it works. Um, you go to your typical Google site, or Yahoo, or whatever, and type in the, uh, the acronym JSG. I'm not going to, you know, give it what it means. And, uh, we go to here. You go to this nice little results. Yeah, you go to this website. Which is users that on that, whatever, blah blah blah, and uh, you download this program. Uh, download the list generic mod enabler, and this pretty much will help you, um, uh, you know, get the mods going for um, Hearts of Two. And you download that, and you download it to your roots folder of the of the Doomsday. So you go to here, you go to your Doomsday, you install, um, install it here, and. Uh, and you get this little program here, the JSGME, the generic mod enabler application by uh, Jones Soft. And uh, that's pretty much what it means is the uh, Jones Soft generic mod enabler. Just so you guys finally figured that out. <laughs> anyway, you open this up, and what it does is it gives you this. Um, I already have some mods here, but um, for most of you guys, you probably won't. And, uh, so once that's open, it will also um, create a folder called mods. This is where you're going to put your mods. And it's go all into this folder as you can see here. And you get this little, you know, all of the folders. That's what, that's what it will look like. Alright, so now that you got that done, you go to your paradox, uh, form.paradox.com, and it looks like this when you type in this link right here. And, uh, you go down to the classic games, and you see, uh, Hearts of Iron 2. Or you can go to either or because it will give you go pretty much to the same place where you wanted to go, which is the mod uh, scenario modifications. So you click that, and you re will reach this part here, and it's and it's uh, gives you a good list of different mods. Some mods um, has it has the install shield, so you can just um, pretty much just install, and it will go to its des uh, destination of where of where your um, where you install a, a doomsday, and uh, since since I am doing it, and I think a lot of people have been asking the, about the Kaiser Reich mod and how you um, how you do it, you go you go to the Kaiser Reich, you click on this little sticky uh, post. It was the Kaiser Reich 1.2, now available, and um, you will reach this. You can download it from uh, these three um, download uh, sites. And you can choose either one. It doesn't really matter as long as it works. And then once you get get that installed, um, I think Bodyfire actually uses the WinRAR, and I think Upload might use the Install Shield. I'm not sure. I think they they all might just have a uh, the WinRAR if I'm not mistaken. And once you download that, um, it it gives you a it opens the WinRAR uh, program, and it says in there a folder called the Kaiser Reich, uh, the Legacy of the Will Creek. And uh, you, and you take that folder, and since I already made a folder right here, it's called Kaiser Reich, uh You just stick it into the mods, and then with that folder, it open. There's uh, other folders in here, and a two file, and that's pretty much what it has. And for scenarios, and so on and so forth, you got the GFX, and then once you get off, uh, once you have the de the uh, Kaiser Reich, uh, folder inside the mods folder of the Doomsday, you go to the JSGME program, you click on the Kaiser Reich, and you actually click on this one, which will activate the Kaiser Reich mod. Um, so, that's pretty much how you start, uh, uh, pretty much enable mods for um, Hearts of Iron 2. There's, and, um, as you can see here, uh, the Kaiser Reich also has other things like the music and skins and so on and so forth. So that's all that comes. That's all within the Kaiser Reich. So um, that's pretty much uh, um, all you can do. There's a there's an, if you don't like to do the uh, the the JSGME way, you can just copy the Doomsday folder and uh, paste it and make it like a separate folder. So you have all your doomsday files, and you can just install, extract, uh, 
and pretty much just take everything from that folder of the of the mod you're, that you're doing and just overwrite the files within the uh, within the copy folder of Doomsday. And that's another way to uh, pretty much start your uh, start playing the uh, the Doomsday mods. But uh, I find the uh, the just GME way uh, a bit simpler, I think. And um, there's also a there's a post in there. Let me check. Um, I know I should be organized when I'm doing this, but uh, at this point I'm not. So and uh, yeah, you can you probably can find it on there. Um, I don't think I think it might be this one, but I know there's a post in there somewhere in which uh, it will show you how to do it. In, in the form that paradox um, dot com um, so with that folks um, if you have any questions any more questions or concerns about what uh, what you need then uh, I'll be happy to answer them individually but that's pretty much how you set up your um, set up the mods is you can use the just copy the doomsday folder or just use the GSG so um, with that um, I hope you guys did get something out of it um, I know it wasn't as organized as I should as it should have been, but um, I did the best I can. Um, so with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, again, any more questions? I would be happy to answer them. So I will see you guys later.